boys. Now, it's not Christmas time right now, but I've noticed something. My view count is f***ing huge. 900,000 views on my Christmas album. Whispers that I'm going to be the new Mariah, that the, the Mariah bump will now be called the Ludwig bump every November. There's whispers about it. still early in the year. We'll see where that ends up. I'm not going to say I'm the new face of Christmas yet, <laughs> but people are saying it. It's been said by people, not me, yet. I will say it when it happens, which it might, probably will. But that's all to say that if you go to any YouTuber and you go to their most viewed video, it's oftentimes music, which is why, boys, today I'm going to be ranking all the YouTubers' songs, which ones are the best. I'm making a YouTuber song tier list. Now, we have a few tiers, tiers here. S, A, B, C, D, M, C, A, just in case. And then F. Uh, I'd feel kind of bad about an F. Because at the end of the day, music is, is it's, it's an art form, right? It's, a, it's you giving yourself through this form of expression known as song. So, to give an F when someone's making an honest effort seems pretty harsh seems pretty harsh but jake paul is in here so uh you know jake paul's here surely you know can make exceptions to every rule we'll see we'll see i'm not saying i'm not saying he's gonna be an f i'm just saying that let's just keep the option open and now these people have multiple songs so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna go and find their most popular one Oftentimes, it'll be their most popular video altogether for an artist like Jake Paul, whose most popular video is It's Every Day, Bro, and it's not close. In fact, the top four of his five videos are all songs. The fifth one, you might ask, is a video called Who's a Better Kisser, where I think his dad kisses his girlfriend um, and didn't tell her, which seems weird. But we won't get into that because we're not worried about that. We're worried about the music, the soul. I'm here to say maybe we should separate artist and art, okay? I'm on that Michael Jackson train. I'm saying let's just forget about all that weird having your dad kiss people without them knowing stuff. And let's just absorb the beauty of it's every day, bro. Los Angeles, Cali boy. But I'm from Ohio, though. White boy. Okay. I'm going to try not to pause too much during these. But I have never listened to the words he says at the start until now. He says, L.A. Cali boy, but I'm actually from Ohio. But I'm from Ohio, though. White boy. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just, let's just let it, let's just let it play. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. I use it bolt and run. Catch me at game one. I cannot be outdone. Jake Paul is number one. Okay, he did rhyme one with one, and I didn't recognize that the first listen through. I didn't get that. He just said, catch me at game one. I am number one. I didn't get that. Maybe part of his mastery of the form that I didn't pick that up. Like a Kanye shit with shit. You know? Maybe a mastery of the form, perhaps, that I didn't pick it up. It's every day, bro. You know it's Nate now, I don't really care about the other people because I think this is mostly about Jake. Having said that, it would be a shame not to listen to Nick Crump, Crump Crompton say England is my city because that's a bar. Am I calling stay open? Yes, I can rap and no, I'm not from Cotton. England is my city and if it were for Team 10, then the U.S. would be shitty. I'll pass it to chance. <laughs> He's doing it in like, like the meter of like... Um, England is my city. I'm not from Compton. But bet your ass if you come down, you'll take it from Team 10. The only part that I really like is England is my city. I would say if I was rating Nick Crompton, I would put this at a C. Remarkable. His bars. remarkable. Distinguished. Unfortunately, we are rating Jake. I just have to put this at an F. But it's almost like an iconic F in a way. Anyway, next is is Lily, and um, and now this one maybe shouldn't be on here, but you know, Lily's a streamer and a YouTuber, and she does have her own music channel. But one of the songs on there is called "Dreamy Night," which has seven point two million views. When I was Damn, those are hard notes to hit. Bed, with all these thoughts in my head, and 
Good resolution. England is my city. So this song's like pretty fire. The one thing that bothers me is that Lily uses her fake voice for all of it. If you don't know, she has like another lo-fi song she made with her real voice. If you've never heard it, this might blow your mind. This is Lily's real voice. Yeah, yeah, hey. Cause I can't do shit right. I can't learn my lesson. It just goes better with the flow sometimes. You know what I mean? Okay, that's actually my first time hearing it. Pretty fire tune. The crazy thing about all these songs is that they're all original. I mean, not to say that they came up with everything and didn't have help. Obviously, that you know usually isn't the case. Uh, but it, it's still it's still nuts. I think. Uh, so songs fire. I think I would put it top of A if I'm being honest. Next up is PewDiePie. Let's listen. Bob's or Vagana, whichever will it be? Set the fuck down, TZ Reese. I'm here to spill the real tea. I didn't get that for a while. Boobs or vagina. That's what he's saying when he says bobs or vagina. I had to genius that. Here, let me serve your bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. TC Reese ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna. You got a population of 1.32 billion. But most your videos can't seem to hit even a million. I'm seeing so many S's in chat. I just can't, uh, I can't imagine casually sitting down Sunday afternoon. I'm like, man, I'm trying to listen to a fucking tune right now. And we're popping up bitch lasagna. It's just so dated. CB for me. I don't know where it'll end up because these tier lists at the end of the day are all comparative. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it in C right now and then we'll see. Is anyone saying, is anyone here still in 2021? See, that's when you know the song doesn't hold up. When all the top comments are from a year ago, instead of saying, who's still here in 2021, that's when you know it don't hold up. For example, I'm going to jump around here. Let's go to Jacksepticeye. Jack's most viewed video is a song called All The Way. And look at the comments. Five years later, song is a banger. Still better than 90% of pop today. That just means that people are coming back to this on their Sunday drives. You know what I mean? Let's listen to Jack's though. I'm I'm a big fan of this song. I like the song a lot. I would put it at a high B. It could also end up low A. Dream song is uh, called Road Trip. Wait, it's DMCA? Dream, you're going to copy strike me? What the fuck? All right, Dream. Fucking dead to me. DMCA, worse than F. DMCAing me. But it's all right. It's time for Dr. Disrespect. His number one song and his number one video is Alleyways. just a fire tune there's something to be said about the power of brevity i like it a lot there is subjectivity involved but i'm gonna throw this right now and we'll see where everything stacks up at an s but we do have ksi it's a lamborghini i don't think it's copyrighted oh, oh, oh. he's got umg <sighs> for now i'll move on 
to Corpse, who we obviously only have one song that we are going to have to review. E-Girls are ruining my life. Choke me like you hate me, but you love me low-key. Wanna date me when you fuck me. Touch me with the lights off and my chains on. Oh, hey. Baby, I'm not the right one. You should wait on. Look, and she got death no death. So split that chain cold. Think I fell in love when she said grab me by. I didn't realize another guy sang on it. I like the second dude. Cause it's like after listening to Corpse, it's like it's like a little bro doing an impersonation. I'm sure he has a deep voice, it's a great voice, but it's just funny <laughs> to go from Corpse to that guy. I like agoraphobic, which is actually similar in viewership. I can't do shit right. I can't learn my lesson. I can't do shit right. Take any depressants, illness and welfare rob my adolescence. My friends probably hate me. Can't answer a message. Filled with anxiety, always be hiding me. Feeling inadequate, always was driving me. Not a role model. That's not what I strive to be. Can't go outside. I'm afraid they'd be finding me. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I love this chorus though. Yeah, I think Lily and Corpse, you know, are, are very similar in the sense that they're nothing alike. But they have very distinct voices that I think you either just fucking love or you just don't like. But I'll put Corpse A right next to Lily. Pretty good tune. Flight team stand up. FTC. All right, Flight reacts. Man, this girl's this a genius. genius. Can't lie, she's a genius. Oh, Pull up, let's get high. Yeah. Off rip. The artistic liberty to say this girl disingenuous when the word is disingenuous. So inspirational, but we'll continue. Mars, we on Venus. I just like the way your lips move and suck it down my penis. Got you all keep it. I'm not the gum goose that my play call it a day. I had aspirations of bomb ever since I was eight. Why would I give a reaction to petty hate like the mate? Wanna see me react? Such my YouTube play reacts. Why every banger I drop a new nigga act like they need me? Quit calling my phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more time. Wanna see me react? Such my YouTube play reacts. Why every banger I drop a new nigga act like they need me? Fucking brilliant. How do you rhyme disingenuous with Venus? Only flight. F Only F flight F finds F a way. Now, where does FTC flight reacts belong on this list? I could see some arguments for really only S, but I don't think S makes sense. Because it's not just a good song. It's inspirational. Like, are you really going to rank the national anthem? No. doesn't make sense to rank. It's inspirational. It inspires. Okay? So they played before World War II and won before they fought the Nazis in both wars. I don't really know what happened in World War I, but I think it was Germans. Anyway, that's all to say it's inspirational. I spelt it wrong? No, I didn't. Why'd you debate me? I fell for it. That's the worst part. Cody Ko. Shmi. All right, boys. Cody, DMCA, not going to work. We're just going to put him in DMCA tier along with Dream and KSI. To all of you, eat shit. Make me, let you, make me be allowed to listen to your music and make money. All right? Is that too much to ask for? To be able to take your content and make money off of it? it? Am I asking for too much? Let me take what you have made and make my money. What is hard to get here? Dream, Cody, KSI. It's fine. You all give me one collab, we'll call it even. As we move over to Ryan Higa. I think I know all the words of this. Nice guys finish last. That's why I'll treat you like trash. It's not what I really want to do. What? You only date bad guys, so I'll give you my best try to treat you way you want me to. Wait, let me speak your language. Cows go move. 
<laughs> what an absurd thing to say. Great song. Yeah, it is kind of like the, I mean, it is kind of like a, a YouTube version of a Lonely Island track. All I'm saying is I was a virgin before I heard this song. After listening to this song, I lost my virginity. True. This is true. Took three and a half years. Okay, sure. Yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. Not right after I listened to it. Eventually. I'm just saying there's a period in my life where I listened to this. And before it, all virgin. All that. After it, not all virgin. This is true. This is an actual factual. Non-captual. I feel remiss to put something next to flight. But if there is one song that would worm its way up here, it would be Ryan. With Nice Guys Finish Last. Inspirational. So we have Charlie with 2019 Guy. 2019 Guy is Charlie's biggest song. Coming in with 8.2 million views for his band The Gentlemen. Hello, hi, I'm a 2019 guy. I don't need drugs to get high. I have Soylent and wine. Sucks a guy 7-5 next to Charlie. I respect girls by getting friend zoned and deny. I think about them and cry. I am totally fine. My dick's not big. My girlfriend fucks my friend. You say I'm down on my luck. I say it's a win-win. I'm a cock. And I hope he fucks her good. In a way I wish I could. I just... I don't even, like, really know who this Moist Critical guy is, but that song? I mean, that was just inspirational. <laughs> that was just an inspiration, bro. I, I don't know this guy, but I feel inspired now after listening to it. <laughs> I'm too big of a Charlie simp to rate this. I'm a diehard Charlie simp, but what do you want from me? And we move on to my second favorite artist, another man I simp for, Logan Paul. Let's go! Now, this is Logan Paul's diss track that has 269 million views. Uh, 200 million views than any other song that he's came out with. So, it, it is the true representation of how most people would view him as an artist because it's the most listened to. Let's find out what it is. <laughs> Hey Jake, I made one phone call. I got the same house as you. Same cars too, it's really not that hard. Oh hey, by the way, welcome to the top, little brother. Feels good, huh? But let's not forget how you got here. Just enjoy it. You ain't thankful for your fans, it's kinda funny. Do your investors know Team 10 ain't making any money? It's a good bar. It's a good bar. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him credit. It's a good bar. Taking shots at the investors? It's aggressive. It's aggressive. Imagine the investors who paid for that house. Oof. If there's one thing you should know, you don't fuck with the low gang. Hold the bomb and throw it. Looking at your face, you don't know what it means to glow. Trying to dance and act the class is doing nothing. Now you try to rap. Come on. Hold up. Wait. Case of I'm sorry. This is fucking me up. Is it different people rapping every time someone different mouths it? I thought it was the same person and just different. Holy shit. It was like a, it was like the Clone Wars. So much negativity, it really makes me wonder why. I feel like you just need a Maverick shirt in description. You insult me, Jakey. Kind of pulled that from Flight. Not gonna cap. A, a self plug in the song. That's a Flight move. All right. Did Flight do it after him? Yes. Probably told him about it. Knowing Flight, inspirational. Is it called Team Ten because you take ten percent of your friends? That's fucked up, Jake. When the contract dies, so does the career. It ends. That's also a fact. It's every day, bro. Do you give up? It's kind of aggressive. This song will be the death of you. About to be an only child. Who's next? You decide. Baby. What? They kissing the song? What? What? That 
that's out of pocket. I'm going to say, as far as diss tracks go, he said a few things in there. Called out investors. Called out his contracts that he makes with his, with his uh, people on his team that he takes 10% said that they're not going to be his friends after they leave the contract, which I think ended up being true. It's aggressive. And then took his ex-girlfriend, kissed her, and had sex with her. Anyway, that's all to say, it's an F, but it feels disrespectful for how proficient it is because it's a diss track of the song we just watched, really, from Jake Paul. I almost think we need to have a legendary double F because Logan's on another tier here. Wilbur Soot, everybody! Welcome on in Wilbur! With his most popular song, three months old, 29 million views, your new boyfriend. Life isn't quite what I thought I'd be When I was a kid on VOIP I thought when I get older I'd marry her, I told her Now I'm 26 and I work in an office Nine till five's not the best, I'll be honest If I could change a single thing I'd make it me and not him He's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat I've got the key and he's just a doormat He's got social skills That doesn't mean I can't pay the bills Anyway, make the most of him Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick Oh, oh Your new boyfriend's an asshole. I will say I did meet my girlfriend Through Twitch chat, so You know, it, I'm not gonna say I'm taking it personally But certainly not taking it well Not taking it well, Wilbur I think I put Wilbur at a B, and I feel good about this. I feel like B is strong. You know what I mean? Stands are pissed. No, well, they're not pissed. Because they understand that, you know, people are, have preferences, and music's a subjective thing at the end of the day, and I can enjoy the chorus and be bitter about how he's making fun of my lifestyle and how I acquired my girlfriend through Twitch chat and understand that I knocked him down a point for that, and if he ever talks shit again, surely C's coming. And I don't think they'd be mad. Poke lols. Hey, Pokey. Want to come out here? Yeah. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. You don't want to smoke, so ask for the chicken. I just made a big bag. I just brought a pen. Me always on your mind. I be living rent free. The girl want to fuck you. Even though she just met me. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I'm built differently. I think we all know where this is going. The beat, the lyrics, the rhythm. <laughs> the juxtaposition. Just an inspiration, man. Honestly, though, inspirational doesn't make a lot of sense for this. Because although it is inspirational like these songs, I would say even then, it was built different. Differently in a way. This is the largest tier list I've ever made. All right. We have simply Dito on Dito. It's got to be. Dito on Dito. Hey. Dito on Dito. Dito on Dito. I saw Dito and Speedos. I thought it was weird. Dito and Speedos. Dito was eating Doritos. Cool Ranch. Dito Doritos. Dito also eating Fritos. Also good. Dito Doritos. Fritos are also good. Dito was shooting some free throws at the YMCA. Dito did free throws. Dito was trying to drop some pounds. Dito on Keto. Dito was way too damn cute. I'm Dito on Dito on Dito. On Dito on Dito. Simply, I'm going to put him in the built differently category. I think he's the only other man who belongs there. Which leads us to our last person to rank, which is me. Ludwig, I have to rank myself. Now, <laughs> I did have a rule of no parodies, and the only thing I've ever done are, um, they're not parodies, they're covers, though. So, technically not a parody, technically not a parody, it's a, it's a cover, but I'm pretty sure that this is an easy S. However, I'm also not a man who's, like, gonna be too cocky or gonna put himself in a high position, all right? That's... Nepotism or masturbation. I don't really know which. So, chat, where do I belong? S, A, B, or C? I won't put F in there because like, it's a waste. It's a waste of space on the keyboard. 
You know, I, I'll put F, but I won't put FF. You know, don't need to <laughs> do that. Not that anyone's going there anyway for me. So you guys can start voting whenever. And we are going to pick whichever one has the second most votes. Because obviously whichever one is voted the most rigged, second most usually right. Let's stop it right now. 1,000 votes on the dot. Second most wins, which means it's S tier. Let's go. There it is. Finally, we have finished this uh, tier list, which took us a long time. Uh, this is it in its, in its completion. The built differently inspirational S A B C F F F categories, and and there it is. I feel good about it. That took us like three hours to do. What a hard thing to do. Now there's a lot of people we missed. A lot of songs we might have missed. Been hearing people say that. So we'll do this. Drop any name you want. Drop any song you think would be good, and maybe we'll make a sequel. Okay. If you guys have somebody, let me know. But put it on YouTube. Don't put it in Twitch chat. We're not going to do it now. I just did it for three goddamn hours. I feel good about it. I feel good about that list. <laughs>